Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we are back at the yurt site and we are working on the subfloor of the yurt deck as well as the making the circle. did first we last left you with just configuring some boards um, what we decided to do was make one two three four five five columns of boards which allowed us to use not sure how many full pieces but we used as many full pieces on the middle and then went around the outside and kind of patched in the pieces that we needed I uh, went through and just tacked them in with four screws just to keep them in place and then as you can see we did about a quarter of it, a little over a quarter of it yesterday. Today we had just gone through and put in the rest of the boards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we had just got finished marking the circle from our center. We just used a tape measure and a pencil at the end where we needed to mark it. Jen Flowing River held it here and I went around the outside with the pencil and marked it. And that's what we're about to do now. So stay tuned and uh, we'll show you how we cut that. So to cut this, we just simply used a battery powered jigsaw. And I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, you could do this without electricity if you needed to, which we are doing. So as you can see here, the line is marked. I simply come through and cut it. And have someone hold the outside, or two people hold the outside would be better, but we only have one holding. So uh, let me get to work. We'll see you guys back in a few minutes. So you just find your line and start sewing. We have our circle, our first layer done of plywood cut into our 30 foot circle. Now we are ready to add our insulation layer and our sanded plywood layer which this pile here is that I think about 24 of each that we had to haul up here. Thanks for watching. Keep tuned. We're gonna get this shirt up soon. I'm going to get back to clearing some weeds, so we'll have some room to uh, put up this yurt. Peace.